Hey and welcome to another episode of My Life with Android on today's review. I will be reviewing the free to play game via Play Store Golf Star. It's been on my note for a couple of days now. I've played it a few times. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Every time you start it up, it downloads all the patches and installs stuff, which happens every time you load up the game and as it says it can take up to 10 seconds or 2 minutes depending on how often you've been on the game I was on it a couple of days ago so it's quite quick if you're on it quite regularly the graphics for the game is good and the gameplay itself is uh, the simple 3 touch method which I'll show you as soon as it's loaded you would think I would have edited this bit out but it's quite good uh, for you to see just how long it takes to load up which is quite a while there we go when you first go on it you get a chance of creating your character you get to choose from various faces and clothes and whether or not it's a male or female and their hair you can also change you can't ch really change their features but you can choose one that you like every time you come up this pops up as well with a few adverts uh, bits within the games as well and news about it surprise missions holiday parties but it comes up with a load of stuff that you can do within the game So you get rid of the recent news for the updates for it. And there's guest. You can sync it up with your Facebook account, obviously when you uh, go on like you can with most game apps. The moment it's just loading the main menu. There we go. So this is the guy that I made and this is your main menu bit you've got the heart down here time an event and package if you click on it comes up with this area tickets, shops you can buy stuff with in This is where you spend the money. And the starter packages, free pass, special memberships, VIP memberships, uh, Christmas packages as well. And they involve the green dues, which up here, and you get your stars as well if you're playing the game. You've got your golf, uh, your player statistics. So, go through, see how well you are, the scorecards, okay. course records, not too bad actually, so if you want to you can also change your character, and these are the ones you get to choose from, so you change the skin, the face, and the hair, Plus her styles as well. And there you go, you can purchase her. And she comes as well with female ones. So you have a few characters linked up. Stick with him. Little bonus. You get the milestones as well, all the little bits that you've done and how well your achievements are coming along, uh, completed missions you can go through, and you can also compare it to your mates who have it as well. 
And these are all your items, so your clubs that you bought, your costumes, some of which are actually quite funky, I must say. Quite amusing. <laughs> uh, your tees, your power ups, so you get power ups throughout, you get your impact drinks, your better drives, your harder hits, stuff like that. Which you get for each one, you get a present for each level and your daily reward as well. So you've got fighting card, another impact drink, experience, 50% VIP pass. And I will now show you a couple of uh, holes on the actual game. It uses up the hearts, so you can play as many as you like, as long as you have hearts and you get hearts for each one you complete. As you can see, the graphics themselves are really quite good. And there we are. So you can see everything that you have. If you click outside of, if you click just there on the green, you can put your finger on it and move around where you want it aimed to. The one's coming towards me in a pretty much straight direction, so I want it about there. And then you click outside of the blue area to go back. As I said, it's a three click system, so you click the ball once to get the arrow moving along. Click it for where you want the power to stop, or it should be on the flag. The flag always tells you the best the best power to put into it, and as it comes back, press it again so that uh, it's either a left or right curve or as straight as you want it to go. A little bit hard to do when you're recording the thing because it won't always pick up that last click. It does when you're not recording the screen. That's terrible because of it. Far too much to the right. But you can see how the, the curve works. Miles away from the hole. Nice on. I wouldn't, I wouldn't agree with the nice on. As you can see, you can see which way the green is going, the slope and the gradient as well, whether it's orange, red or yellow, depends on how steep it is, and the white dots moving around tells you which way it's flowing. So it's flowing that way, so I probably want to aim for about there. And then go up. That's a simple two-click system for anything on the green, rather than having it three clicks. Ooh, just that little bit closer. Or par. See, as you can see, it's green, yellow, and red now. And they're moving quite quick. Don't need a lot, but it is quite steep-ish. There we go. I got it for par. So that's the actual gameplay as well for it. And as you um, continue along progress, you get all the extra items, you get hearts given and you get money for all the tournaments you've done. The game itself is a really good, nice game. The only trouble with it though is the push ads. It has loads of push ads on it. As you, when you switch on your note or your phone or your tablet or whatever you're running the game on, the push ads will appear down here, constantly coming up uh, at least every day, and it will update itself daily. So it takes quite a long because of this game, your tablet or note or phone takes long, longer to open and start up than it would normally so this game does take away a lot of the battery usage and 
it gives you push ads as well. I don't mind adverts being within the game, but when it's push surface, it's very annoying. So the game itself is 4 out of 5, but because of the adverts and the lag it takes for starting up, you'll know or phone the amount of time it takes, and also you, when you go into it, the load time, it's a 3 out of 5. Uh, but the game itself is really good if you're into a good golf game and you don't mind the adverts too much This is definitely a game worth getting especially as it's free on the Play Store one definitely worth checking out So thank you very much for watching my review of Golf Star available for free on the Play Store done on the Samsung Note 10.1 Please check out the rest of my channel enjoy uh, like rate and share and until next time, I will catch you all later. Bye.